back at my normal, one of my normal launch fields. So nervous after the broken arm. It's been a while, three and a half months. I can feel my stomach all kind of feeling a bit sicky. <laughs> Okay, so broken arm incident, done that. Uh, 10 weeks, no 12 weeks, I don't know, it's been a long time since the last flu. Where are we now? End of September and uh, broke it in June, July, August, September. Three and a half months since I last flown. It's perfect flying weather tonight. I am properly nervous and properly excited. So, um, phew, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to fly tonight. I really don't. I hope to, I'm, but I'm going to check everything. I'm going to double check everything. I'm going to do all my safety checks. I'm going to make sure <laughs> that my trims are set right. I don't think I'll ever make that mistake again. Um, and only, only if everything seems absolutely spot on, am I going to squeeze that throttle and go. Phew. Anyway, I'll see you on the field. Back at my normal, one of my normal launch fields. So nervous after the broken arm. It's been a while, three and a half months. I can feel my stomach all kind of feeling a bit sicky. It's so beautiful though, I tell you, look at that. Just glorious, clear evening, almost no wind, perfect conditions. <sighs> if I can get past the launch, I'll be all right, but I am so scared and excited there's my uh, kit wing all laid out basically i've done all my checks i'm ready to go and i'm just rambling because I... <laughs> i'm scared okay um the broken arm was bad but could have been worse and probably won't happen again i'm not going to make the same mistake am i okay i'll see you in the air in a few minutes Okay, so, no flight for me tonight. Um, turns out that the thing won't start. Well, I got it started over there. Miles over there in the car park, where my car is. Um, and uh, it started, I ran it for about 10 seconds just to check it would start all right, before hauling it all the way over to the field. Uh, it's a beautiful field, you know, perfect night. But anyway, got out here and I could not start it. And I've just been having a look around and this is what I've discovered. And this has snapped off. It probably happened in the accident. It was meant to be connected to there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so, but the um, the actual spade connector has snapped, and I haven't got a spare one with me. I could probably get a pair of pliers and sort of try and crimp it together, but I don't think it would be solid enough with the vibrations to um, to be able to be definite that I wasn't going to have an engine out somewhere because uh, it's Friday night and call the missus or someone else and they'd have to come and get me and they're probably everyone's had a drink so can't drive and all the rest of it so I'm disappointed that I'm not flying I got so nervous and so ready and I was all oh, psyched up for it but um, anyway it's better to fly another day be safe um, just uh, my wing here uh, somebody very kind wrapped it all up for me when I broke my arm which I really do appreciate that was very kind of them but I didn't understand the method they used to coil all the lines together it's something that I hadn't seen before um, so um, in my stupidity and frustration while I was uh, while I was sort of housebound with one arm for a bit I decided to open it up on the bed and try and untangle it so that was a uh, bad idea Tim mm. shouldn't have done that we're all good to go with that but we're not good to go with that <laughs> so fly another day I'll, I'll probably get this fixed up tonight when I get home. If it's good tomorrow early morning, might might go for a flight. I'm not. I want it to be really good conditions. I don't want to take any risk because of my nerves. Nerves. So yeah, if I do, I think it's different wind direction tomorrow. What wind there is, so um, probably a different sight. So I'll look forward to that. See you later, aviators. Big mast 
which is ever so good because uh, I can find my way home. Right, so it's uh, it's a calm morning. Um, standing on the edge there, it's a bit breezy, but as I move back here, it's uh, obviously less so. Um, that's just where the wind's getting compressed as it comes over that hill. So we've got, uh, I think, probably here, somewhere in the region of five, six miles an hour of wind, um, which will be all right. It's good for launching. And I uh, don't know what's going to happen as I just approach that edge. I think what happened last time that I did that was I suddenly went up really quite fast. So we'll see what happens. I'll see you in the air. Laters, aviators. Okay, so unfortunately I didn't record the bloody launch and it was fantastic. Best launch uh, ever. <laughs> well, here we go. We just do a little circle here. Here's all the mountain bikers. It's very famous, this woods for mountain biking. It's where the uh, world champion, Steve P, is where he trained. Uh, mostly on that hill that I'm going to head towards over there that drops away some very steep, very dangerous paths. It's good fun, I've had to go a few times, but a bit old for all that crap now. Right, we're gonna have to let the trims out because I'm making very little progress. Here we go, one, two, full out. Nice, I don't know if I'm gonna be up long though because this wind's creating quite a lot of turbulence. Turbulence, ah, swing of the legs. Well, that was Farmer Jack who owns the farm. I don't know if you saw him as I was launching. Oh no, you didn't, because I didn't have the bloody camera on. What a knob. There's my village, Uti Bridge, over there, uh, where I'm going to head towards now. Hello, we... Just, uh, it's a nature reserve and it's just so untouched, it's unbelievable. Quite good progress there, taking a lot of it down. They're going to build a couple of hundred houses down there, or thereabouts. It's going to make it all a bit packed around here. It's Bradfield School. Had an emergency landing just in that field to the right of there once when all the kids were on their break. That's when I was on my homemade egg motor. Uh, trying to remember what the cause was. I think I was running rich and the spark plug got bogged. Had about 200 kids all there looking over the fence, bobbing their heads around. I could hear them shouting, is he dead? Is he dead? <laughs> Stunning. Oh my. I live in such a good place. So 
good to do the best launch I've ever done immediately after the worst launch I've ever done. Well, I say immediately, it's like about four months, but consecutively. Wow, rowing. People rowing on the lake. Everyone has their sport, don't they? <laughs> and mine's up here, and theirs is down in the wetlands. I don't like getting wet. Baths are alright, showers are alright. Swimming pools in hot countries aren't too bad. Now that uh, temperature inversion over there is clearing a little bit faster than I would have liked. I'd like to have gone and flown over that. I think it'll be cleared by the time I get there. Don't know if you can see it, it's just there. 